hello friends in this class we will see quadratic equation how to write the program for quadratic equation see in this heading I, heading i have given design and develop a flow chart or an algorithm but here in this explanation i am going to tell you both algorithm as well as flow chart no problem and the algorithm that takes three coefficients those three coefficients are a b and c these are coefficients of quadratic equation already in school we have seen such kind of quadratic equations in this form that is ax square plus bx plus c equal to zero and for this quadratic equation a b c are coefficients as input and calculate all possible roots and implement a C program for the developed flowchart or algorithm and execute this program to print the possible roots for a given set of coefficients with appropriate messages okay this is our complete problem or question see before going to write actual C program let us see the algorithm for this quadratic equation this algorithm takes three coefficients a b c as inputs and it determines the roots okay already we know this one so first step will be input three coefficients it means enter three coefficients or read three coefficients a b c next step two is check the valid coefficients it means that if a value is zero and b value is zero at that time we cannot find out the roots of a quadratic equation so this condition we have to check and we have to print one message on our monitor screen try with other coefficients okay then go to step five step five is nothing but stop okay then <coughs> else else means what here else means what a is non-zero and b is or b is non-zero it means that both of them are not zeros only a is zero at that time a is zero b is non-zero c is also non-zero at that time that equation is called as linear equation it means that we will get only one root here okay that root is minus c divided by b okay and that root we have to print on a monitor screen and we will go to step 5 that is stop next is compute the discriminant so if a is also non-zero b is also non-zero and c is also non-zero at that time we have to calculate discriminant for short we will take one variable here that is a disc discriminant is equal to b square minus 4ac okay i think you remember this quadratic equation formula that is uh, root is equal to minus b plus or minus a square root of b square minus 4ac whole divided by 2a in uh, square root whatever we have written b square minus 4ac that is nothing but discriminant so to calculate that discriminant we use this formula disk is equal to b square minus 4ac based on this value of discriminant we will decide whether the roots are real and different or real and distinct which is a first possibility or else roots may be real and equal it means both the root 1 and root 2 may be same then the third possibility is roots are imaginary these are the three possibilities are there when it is when a is also non-zero b is also non-zero and c is also non-zero we have to calculate a discriminant value based on this discriminant value we will decide whether the roots are real and distinct whether the roots are real and equal and whether the roots are imaginary okay see here if a discriminant is if a discriminant is less than zero at that time the roots are imaginary so if roots are imaginary 
we have to calculate two parts here one is a real part and imaginary part the real part will be minus b divided by 2a okay and uh, imaginary part will be square root of discriminant divided by 2a okay once you get this uh, real part and imaginary part uh, we can calculate easily root 1 and root 2 root 1 will be real part plus i of imaginary part root 2 is real part minus i of imaginary part once you get the root 1 and root 2 we have to display them on monitor screen else else is nothing but what if discriminant value is 0 at that time roots are realigned equal and that uh, root 1 is equal to minus b divided by 2a so if uh, root 1 is equal to minus b by 2a no need to calculate root 2 because uh, it is a universal truth or by default root 2 will be equal to root 1 because discriminant is equal to 0 so just assign this root 1 to root 2 and once you get uh, root 1 and root 2 as the same display those uh, root 1 and root 2 on monitor screen else if discriminant is greater than 0 at that time uh, roots are real and distinct so the roots will be different different so root 1 will be minus b plus discriminant uh, square root of discriminant whole divided by 2a root 2 will be minus b minus square root of discriminant whole divided by 2a print those uh, root 1 and root 2 on monitor screen and come to step number 5 this is how we have to write the c program okay before going to write the c program we will see the flow chart for uh, this uh, algorithm flow chart is a flow chart to find the roots of quadratic equation ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0 see first we will put this uh, star start in uh, oval so when i compressed this uh, flow chart to fit in only one screen or one page some of the words are missing here uh, you concentrate my dictation or my explanation okay so it is not star it is actually start okay start is put in uh, oval symbol and uh, after start we have to read three coefficients a b c okay we have to enter three coefficients a b c and uh, if that uh, a and uh, b are zero then uh, roots cannot be determined determined the word is missing here actually it is hidden there roots cannot be determined so if uh, this uh, both of these a and b are not zero only if it is a uh, a is 0 it means this condition is false only a is 0 at that time print one message that uh, equation is linear equation equation word is missing here actually it is hidden linear equation linear equation contains only one root that root is minus c divided by b and print that root and then go to stop okay then <coughs> false if uh, this uh, condition is false a is equal to zero condition is false it means that all coefficients are non-zero a is also non-zero b is also non-zero c is also non-zero at that time we have to compulsorily calculate the discriminant value like this b square minus 4ac based on this discriminant value we will divide the roots into three types if discriminant is greater than zero then roots are real and distinct root 1 is minus b plus the square root of discriminant whole divided by 2a root 2 is minus b minus the square root of discriminant whole divided by 2a then print that root 1 and root 2 root 2 is missing here in this flow chart actually it is hidden print both the root 1 and root 2 then go to stop if discriminant is equal to 0 then print the roots okay these roots will be real and equal that root 1 is minus b divided by 2a and root 2 is also minus b divided by 2a print this root 1 and root 2 then go to stop then if discriminant is uh, less than 0 then 
print one message that is roots are imaginary so imaginary roots will be like this root 1 is equal to real part plus i of imaginary part root 2 is a real part minus i of imaginary part before going to display or calculate this root 1 and root 2 we have to calculate first what is real part and what is imaginary part real part is minus b divided by 2a imaginary part is square root of discriminant divided by 2a then you calculate root 1 as a real part plus i of imaginary part or root 2 as a real part minus i of imaginary part then print root 1 and root 2 here root 2 is missing actually it is hidden after printing root 1 and root 2 go to stop okay this is the c program to display the roots of quadratic equation print one uh, write uh, write one header file or preprocessor statement hash include stdio.h hash include math.h why i have used this header file math.h because i am going to find out square root of a discriminant in my program so i want to use one mathematical function sqrt so i have to use math.h here okay then all variables i declared them as float okay because whenever we divide so many things we may get the answers in terms of decimal numbers or floating point numbers so for safer side and to get the accurate answers i have used data type float and all variables i have declared as float only so three coefficients first i want to use that is a b c then i have to calculate root 1 and root 2 and i have to calculate in the real part and imaginary part if discriminant is less than zero and uh, one more variable i want to store the discriminant value now open the main function enter the values of a b c by using scanf i have read a b c values now start first condition whether a is zero and b is zero if both of them are zero we cannot calculate the roots for this quadratic equation and else if only a is zero then that equation is linear equation that equation will be minus c by b and print that equation then else else means what a is also non-zero b is also non-zero c is also non-zero at that time first we have to calculate a discriminant discriminant is equal to b square minus 4ac based on this discriminant value now we are going to calculate whether roots are real and distinct real and equal and imaginary okay if discriminant is greater than zero then the roots are real and distinct root 1 is minus b plus square root of discriminant whole divided by 2a root 2 is minus b minus square root of discriminant divided by 2a print the root 1 and root 2 else if this discriminant is equal to 0 then the roots are real and equal so that real and equal roots are minus b divided by 2a okay print those root 1 and root 2 else if discriminant is less than 0 then the roots are real and imaginary how to calculate uh, real part real part will be calculated like this minus b divided by 2a imaginary part is calculated like this square root of absolute of discriminant whole divided by 2a okay here we have used one more method mathematical function absolute a b s function okay which is also defined in the header file math dot h okay? then the print root 1 and root 2 this is all possible outputs of this program in the first run we will see into the values of abc here all three coefficients are non-zero coefficients so real uh, roots are real and distinct then uh, here uh, abc in second run also <coughs> non-zero but when we calculate discriminant value discriminant value will become zero so because of that only these roots are realigned equal so if you observe root 1 is also same root 2 is also same in run 3 again all three coefficients are non-zero but here discriminant value will be less than zero so roots are imaginary imaginary roots will be in this form then in run 4 a value and b value are 0 then we should print roots cannot be determined and in run 5 only a value is 0 
it means that uh, this is a linear equation this is a linear equation and it has only one equation one root this is how uh, to calculate uh, roots of a quadratic equation